Hello, good day everyone. My name is Bramlan Hartog and today we're going to show you the option to do a restore into Azure. This feature has been released by last month, so March 2023, and uh, it's including a couple of use cases whereby you can just restore any on-prem Windows system. doesn't really matter if it's a physical or if it's a virtual machine or if it's uh, a virtual machine running into Azure itself, uh, we can just restart back into Azure as an Azure VM. So we do have instructions around this process and today we'll give you a live walkthrough on how to set this up, how to do a restore and how this is, uh, how the results will be after the restore has been completed. So, it can be done in just four steps. As you can see, step one is just down at the recovery server. Step two is creating the, uh, the recovery location VM. On the VM itself, we have to assign some permissions, which is very important. And then it's just the last step on that is just to install the recovery servers on the recovery location VM in Azure itself. So creating the VM into Azure itself, um, in terms of setting up the recovery relocation, we have some best practices around that process as well. So uh, you can run it on the Windows Server 19 data center system, on the Windows 10 system, and also the VM size. So we do recommend to use the, the B4MS VM size when you set up the Azure VM uh, that will be used uh, for the recovery location. Then once created, we also have to assign permissions to the recovery location VM, which is important because the recovery service, it should have the right permissions, right? To, to be able to create the VM into Azure itself. I do already have the VM created, as you can see, it's here. It has the, the standard B4MS um, system size. And if we go onto that, on that uh, VM, we logged in into that virtual machine. We go into the backup.management portal. And if we just maximize this, uh, we have devices in the backup already uh, where we have a full system protection in place by backing up the files of folders. So it's backing up the entire system and also backing up system state. So for setting up the, this Azure VM as a recovery location, we can easily go into the recovery locations itself. So we do, have, we do have a couple of self-hosted recovery locations already, but we can say, okay, add recovery location, choose the type Azure, and we can say download. It's a, it's a one-time use only. So if you want to set up multiple locations, uh, you have to do a new download of the installer because it's a unique installer. It can only be used once, right? So if you uh, run it on the second device, you get an error message that was used already. So we open the file. Then we say next. It's very easy. Let's do the installation for you. And once completed, it's just a matter of clicking finish. All right, finish. Then we say close. And now we can see the Azure recovery location is registered. The next step is to enable the restore process. So if we pick a virtual machine that's been backed up or a device, a physical system doesn't really matter. Uh, actually, this is an Azure VM, uh, which is currently running in Azure and is being backed up and we want to restart back into Azure again. So we can say restart to Azure. Then we choose and pick the recovery location. Okay, next. It's checking in if the device is compatible to do a full system restore because doing a full system restore, it also requires you to do a full system backup. So we click next. We can pick a date, we can pick a session time from when we would like to restore some data, uh, the system back into. And we can say, okay, just do the latest, which is fine. We say next. We have to connect into the Azure subscription. Uh, so you should have the right uh, uh, 
Um, user credentials fed, of course. So we say next. We can see the subscription, uh, what it's currently being connected into. Uh, we can specify the resource group. Uh, so let me pick the right one from this list. The virtual machine, how it will be um, created into Azure itself. Uh, the region, it's fixed as well. We have the availability uh, options. Um, so if you want to have it being restored into our different zones, it is possible. Then we have the VM size. That's actually how the VM uh, will be created into Azure. So let's pick one of the B B standard B devices. Okay, this is fine. Two CPUs and uh, took by four gigabyte RAM, which is good. Uh, we click on one of these, then the HDD is fine. Then we have the virtual network. So it will list all virtual ne networks available within the subscription and the subnet is there set to default, which is well fine for now, right? So we say next, we can set an email address to get a notification out of the results. Once the research has been completed, we say, okay, this is all what we need to do, confirm. It's assigning the plan and now we can say finish. So within the uh, recovery test board, we can go into Restart to Azure and we can see the device is added. It's set to a scheduled status and it will just um, do some preparation on, on the Azure site and it will get started in a couple of seconds. So we need to give this some time, of course, and then once the research has been completed, the device or the virtual machine, it will actually be showing up into the virtual machines list. But we have to finish or and wait for the for the restore process to complete first. So we can see the restore process is now on uh, 45%. So it's going, which is good. So we can see that uh, restore has been completed in 13 minutes and 12 seconds. It says completed. Um, recovery started today. It's all looking good. So let's have a look into the Azure portal. So if we do a refresh, then uh, the VM should be added. And yes, so we can see the 2022 Azure VM demo, it's there. So we can easily go into that machine. We can say, okay, start the virtual machine. Looking good, so we can connect into that virtual machine as well. So let's connect with RDP. Okay, one sec. Okay, let's start it. Probably it will take some time before we can do this. So let's check in a bit, in a bit. Okay, still says stop, let's do a refresh. Okay, currently it's running, which is good. So we can just connect into RDP. Okay, that's great. Download. Right. Let's connect into that virtual machine. Okay, so it's log again, which is good. The system didn't get the, the highest uh, spec, so on the first boot, it will uh, take a time to uh, to load Windows, of course. <laughs> 
but here it is. So we did successful, successfully restore an Azure VM back up by Cove, back into, into Azure. So this is correct, shut down, this is fine, okay. So this is the whole process, as you can see, it's very easy to do. And I think everybody is able to do this once you have seen this. Thank you and have a nice day.